Welcome to the video guys. So it seems our negotiators with the EU are ready to play hardball and tell them we are ditching all EU rules in any future trade agreement or it will be no deal. Which I suppose to the EU means both a trade deal and a no deal are both the same things. Because we know how important controlling nation states is to the undemocratic cesspool that is Brussels. With the Express reporting yesterday, we'll ditch all EU rules, vows UK's trade talks army. An army of 100 negotiators will tell Brussels that Britain will not follow EU rules in return for a post-Brexit trade deal. Talks continue today with the European Union insisting the UK must stand up to common standards in order to be given preferential trading conditions. Which is laughable because the preferential trading conditions are something the EU needs a lot more than we do. Talks continue today with the European Union insisting the UK must sign up to common standards in order to be given preferential trading conditions. In a two hour meeting at the European Commission yesterday, UK Chief Negotiator David Frost set out Boris Johnson's vision for future relations. For which I'm sure you've seen the reports about them pissing and whining. His team has been told to be friendly but robust and protecting Britain's sovereignty is the top priority. Yeah, it better be because otherwise you'll end up in the dustbin of history like Maybot and the Corbinated Chicken. A government spokesman said the UK will engage constructively to reach a free trade agreement which fully respects the UK's political and regulatory autonomy. There are fears flashpoints may collapse the talks within weeks, with clashes over the competition, fishing and the role of the European Court of Justice. Well, they're pretty easy. We do what we want to do, the EU does what it wants to do. They have no right to tell us what to do in regards to competition in any sense of the word. And I don't even need to reiterate how our fishing waters are ours and access could only be given on a very limited basis and in exchange for something either of equal value or more value because obviously our fishing waters are very important to the EU, therefore should be at a premium to them. With the European Court of Justice just a joke because obviously Brexit meant getting rid of that, getting rid of the EU and everything associated with it. So I don't even know why that's brought up. They should have been told from day dot to take a running jump on the European Court of Justice. Boris should have said, if you want that in the deal, we'll go no deal now, end of story. From the 12th of December, he has had the ability to do that. UK officials were reminded they are in Brussels to deliver on the government's manifesto to negotiate as sovereign equals, and there will be no alignment with EU rules or ECJ jurisdiction in the UK. Which, as I just said, is what the people voted for. Brussels wants a so-called level playing field where Britain would maintain the same or similar standards on the environment, labour and state aids. So essentially, might as well stay in there without some of the perks that we had before, obviously. Which, to think that is going to happen or the public would be happy with it, is more Joe Swinson politics that I thought we would have got rid of by now. The EU also wants to stop the UK slashing red tape to undercut the block, because they're a protectionist outfit, what more do you expect? Talks are expected to continue until Thursday before a second round in London later this month. For the first time since Britain left the EU on January 31st, officials wore passes on lanyards featuring the Union flag. I bet that got the EU's goat, what do you guys reckon? Britain is refusing to extend talks beyond the end of the year, warning it will walk away without a trade deal which is how it should have always been. It really pisses me off that this is just a new thing now. It should have been that from day dot. The Prime Minister wants significant progress by June to allow a deal to be finalised by September. He will decide whether to pull the plug on talks and instead decide whether the UK's attention should move away from negotiations and focus solely on continuing domestic preparations to exit the transition period in an orderly fashion. I think you should fucking do that already and then the EU will come running to us with any deal we fucking want. But I'm not in government so they ain't gonna listen to me. Both sides are at odds over a Canada style free trade deal as well as demands over fishing, state subsidies and standards, something we already know. EU Chief Negotiator Michel Barnier says such a deal would axe most important taxes but still require some border checks. 
it's not suitable due to Britain's nearness to the continent. Got absolutely fuck all to do with it. That is just you terrified that you're going to start losing more and more money. Which, I'm sorry to say, is going to happen anyway, because you can't even pass your own budget, let's be honest. Sam Lowe of the Centre for European Reform said a deal by the end of the year is still possible, but it will require both parties to drift away from their opening positions. Well, Boris Johnson can't do that, because we'll have these balls in a vice quicker than he can call Jeremy Corbyn a Marxist. In practice, it requires the UK to move a lot and the EU to move a little. Well, Boris Johnson better not move a lot. So Sam Lowe from the Centre for European Reform, take that idea and shove it where the sun don't shine, mate. Boris better not move anywhere. But if this report is true, it could be good news for us and for Brexit, meaning the EU will either have to give us a good deal that is essentially a free trade agreement without any political alignment, so a form of Brexit that people might have actually wanted, or a no deal, which is something I think the majority of people will happily take right now. We just have to hope that Boris Johnson and his team stick to their guns and don't become a limp dick. No one likes a limp dick, let's be honest. But on that note, guys, I am going to end the video there. Now, before I go, I've started doing live streams and uploading gaming content on my second channel. If you would like to come and join me for a live stream to chat in real time, have an interest in gaming-related content on YouTube, or just want to follow me over there because you are a legend, the link will be down in the video description below and as a pinned comment. I hope to see you all there. Now, as always, before I go, I want to thank our PayPal, Patreon, Subscribestar and YouTube members for supporting the channel, along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell and share this video as it helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you all in the next one. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>